Hi, I'm glad you could join me on this video. My name is Dan Thompson. I want to take just a minute here and get to the core of what I think infinite banking accomplishes. It's really much more than just high cash value life insurance to create and protect your wealth. There are what I call five key principles to infinite banking. Let's just hit them really quickly. The first principle here is safety. Look, markets are volatile, extremely volatile, and with that volatility comes unpredictability. The market has a way of lulling everyone to sleep. We think that the markets are going to go up forever and then bam, it changes almost instantly and years of growth can be wiped out in sometimes days, even hours. Did you know that in 2008, $2.1 trillion was wiped out in about the time it takes to brush your teeth? That's how fast it can change. Now, I was a financial advisor, stock trader for 15 years, and there's a saying that says, the market has a way of proving the most number of people wrong. And isn't that true? How many people have no idea what to do? They ride the roller coaster up and down, and then the market, you know, they hope it's going to go up, hope they make the right choice. It's pretty scary, isn't it? Seems most people put the greatest amount of money at risk, hoping it will be okay. But what if it isn't? Do you know how many people had to put retirement on an indefinite hold when 2008 wiped out half of their retirement savings? Well, it doesn't have to be there, or it doesn't have to be that way. What we gain by using this concept of high cash value life insurance is safety. Strong insurance companies have been through every market cycle and have protected your capital through good and bad times. And I'm talking about bad times to the extreme. We're talking about insurance companies that paid out dividends in the Great Depression and even our latest market crash, recession, and interest rates basically going to 0%. There are underlying guarantees as well. Did you know that cash value life insurance is deemed so safe that even banks put billions of dollars into cash value life insurance to protect their capital as well? It's called BOLI or bank owned life insurance. For the bank, those policies are put on their books as tier one assets, the safest assets banks can own. Yes, they take your money that you deposit into your checking, your savings, your CDs, and with a portion of it, they turn around and they buy cash value life insurance. If it's good for the banks, they wanna protect their capital, they want it to grow, seems like it might be a good place for us too. Now, I don't believe that taking risk is all necessary for growing your wealth. Slow and steady tends to win the race, and life insurance offers us the most growth for the least amount of risk out there. Okay, principle number two, we have tax benefits. Life insurance offers us a place where, if handled properly, our money can be tax-free from both income while living and death when we die. Put those two together and we have a way of avoiding taxes indefinitely. A well-engineered life insurance policy offers a very sturdy financial future. It's one of the last places where we can store cash and still get tax advantages. Our third benefit is access to capital. This can be a tremendous advantage for sure. Both families and business owners alike have a need for capital at some point. I recently had a business owner call me and say he needed to get $50,000 for a short period of time. The loan was to expand his business and he'd be able to pay the money back in a month or two. He had been building up his cash value and so he had plenty and easily access, to easily access that $50,000 he needed for this opportunity. Well, what a huge benefit. The hassle of getting the money elsewhere might have lost him this opportunity. Had his money been in an IRA or a 401k, it may have been difficult, if not impossible, for him to get that money and possibly substantial taxes and penalties as well. If he had to turn to the bank for a loan, by the time he qualified for the loan, the opportunity may have been gone. We all have need to access capital at times in our lives. It may to be to make a major purchase, to take advantage of an opportunity, emergencies, or whatever the case may be. 
Now we're going to talk more about loans and how they work, the best way to use them in another video. But for now, understand that there will come a time, most likely in your life, when having access to capital with no credit applications, no explanation, no payback constraints, simply make a phone call and the money is on its way. It's going to be a huge benefit to you. The fourth advantage is income at retirement. This is often overlooked, and to me, it's one of the most amazing benefits of all. Why? Because at some point in our lives, we want to retire. We're going to need to have a plan for income. I talk to people all day long who need to convert their current financial plan from an accumulation plan now into an income plan. Unfortunately, for many of those retiring, the income they actually are getting wasn't nearly as much as what they expected. Or worse, what if they simply didn't even have enough to survive month to month? This can be really hard on someone who spent the last 40 years of their life working and saving and then realize they don't have enough income to provide the retirement that they were expecting. All the assets in the world are useless if they don't produce income. It used to be career employees received a pension when they retired, an income for life. The pension has now been replaced by the, 401, by the 401k. Now the risk is squarely on your shoulders. You bear all the risk as most 401ks are at the mercy of the market. After fees are deducted each year, and then when you finally pay your taxes, and when you take it out, you wonder, wow, was this all worth the risk? It surely doesn't seem to live up to all its promises. The best retirement is to have your safe money send you off tax-free income as well. What's more, if the income was far more than you could get in a typical safe investment, such as a CD or even a treasury bond, this is often referred to as your withdrawal rate during retirement. It's the percentage you can take each year from your assets to have a reasonable assurance that you won't run out of money before you run out of life. The Wall Street Journal, Monte Carlo simulations, and financial experts have said that there is a bulletproof withdrawal rate that you should adhere to. Staying within that bulletproof withdrawal rate would basically assure that you won't run out of money. But you might be shocked at how low that bulletproof withdrawal rate is. In fact, if you had a million dollars the day you retire, the Wall Street Journal recommends not taking more than 2 to 3 percent per year. That's enough to income to barely keep you above the poverty line here in America. The poverty line, by the way, in America is 24,000 a year. Can you imagine having a million dollars and being advised you should not take more than 25 or 30 thousand dollars a year? Now, just recently, back in the early 2000s, it was called the 4% rule. This meant you could take 4% of your assets and have a good chance your money would last. Problem is, that's no longer the case. The 4% rule didn't hold up, and so now it's been lowered down to that 2 to 3%. I guess a million bucks just isn't what it used to be, is it? Now, one more thing. You should be familiar with what I call the danger zone. This is somewhere between 7 and 10 years before you retire and 7 to 10 years after you retire where you simply should never lose money. If you lose money during the danger zone period, you have a much greater chance of running out of money again before you run out of life. Your assets may be depleted quickly. You see, if you lose money due to the market and you take out income, and you pay taxes on money you've been deferring all these years, you're basically putting yourself in an almost unrecoverable situation and your assets could deplete faster than you ever thought. Ever thought. So what do you do? Well, managed properly, a well-engineered cash value policy can offer you substantially higher income and tax-free income as well. Once more, you never have to worry about that danger zone again. Now we're going to talk more in depth in our video about taking income, but suffice it to say that life insurance offers us an investment where we can pinpoint with almost laser percent precision where you're going to be and the income that you can have at retirement. 
Now, finally, our fifth principle, and that's leaving a, a legacy. Most people I talk to wouldn't mind leaving something behind for their posterity. The problem comes when mom and dad live like church mice, barely subsisting in order to leave something behind. Or maybe dad's worried that mom won't have enough assets or income to continue a comfortable lifestyle if something were to happen to him. And that makes for a worrisome retirement. It's not any fun living paycheck to paycheck and wondering if your savings or investments are going to run out. It's certainly not the way we dreamed of retirement, is it? The great thing about having a death benefit is that you can spin down other buckets of assets while you're living, knowing that the bucket's going to be refilled at death. It's a safety net for your spouse or your pos posterity so that you're assured adequate assets to provide income if something were to happen to you. Now, some radio talk show hosts say that you will never need life insurance when you get older. And I say that is absolutely wrong. It's the best time to have life insurance. First off, death is inevitable. And as mentioned earlier, it lets you spend other assets knowing there is more that's going to come at your passing. The other reason is that it's the best way to pass on an estate. The wealthy have been using life insurance for decades to pass on their legacy. The death benefit is always income tax free too. Where else can you get all your cash, everything that you put in, and a bonus or a windfall and at a much greater value than the amount you saved and all tax free? Why wouldn't the financial experts tell you that to have life insurance in your old age? Well, we're going to talk about more on that in another video, but really, the experts do. In fact, the state and tax attorneys and those that understand efficient ways to pass on your ass assets always use life insurance. Radio talk show hosts want you to drop it at retirement. That's just too crazy because you're going to leave this world at some point. Would you drop your homeowner's insurance if you knew a tornado was coming? Well, sad to say, death is coming to all of us. So why drop the one thing that pays off when we die? I just had a client pass away at a young age. He left a wife and a young child. Without this plan being in place, who knows what she would have done, but because he did some planning, she'll have the capital needed to generate income the rest of her life. While he was living, they were able to take advantage of the opportunities and build additional wealth outside of their investments too by utilizing their cash value along the way. So there you have the five key principles to the infinite banking concept. They are safety of principle, tax benefits, access to capital for both purchases and opportunities, income at retirement, and a legacy builder uh, when we finally pass on. There's really nothing like it. Well, again, I'm Dan Thompson, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. And as always, if you like this video, please click and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.